Hello everyone, this is Aether Nightmare, and welcome back to Night 4 of Undertale. Last time I had to take a break because I got a little bit stuck and ran out of healing items while confronting Metatons, so... We back. And I've stocked up on stuff. It helps if I tell the controller to go over here. Unfortunately, I am a little bit behind. I'm not exactly back to where I was. Since I just went to Snowden to stock up on stuff. So I will have to make my way back up here. I forgot about that. Should be easy enough, though, since I went through most of the puzzles already. So I just gotta do my best to avoid random encounters. It was not the way. And sorry I'm a little bit late tonight. For anyone who's probably watching this in post because no one's in the stream. I kind of got busy and then I also decided to just go and clean my whole house. So that's my excuse. I did adulting. Also, I got back a little bit late and still had to like shower and stuff. Shoot, this is not the way either. Everything is clean, me included. It's an empty trash can. So this is not the way. I remember I think it was off to the right, sort of. Act. Don't pick on. Ooh, I can't. I said don't pick on. Maybe it's a different one that I haven't encountered yet. Yeah, he does have a different face. The other monsters are impressed. You dare defy me? Yes, I do! That's one down, even though I didn't do anything with it. Maybe he enjoys being picked on? He's weird? doesn't care about fighting anymore. You won! You earned a lot of gold, wow. I don't want to heal though because I'm right here. And I don't want to waste anything. Behind this door must be the elevator to the king's castle. You're refilled with determination. So let's try this again. I've told this time around I was choosing the wrong options too. Seems like you could skip Metaton's monologue by turning him around now. What will you do? Might as well hear it again. Oh yes, there you are, darling. It is time to have our little showdown. It is time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not. Malfunction. Reprogramming. Get real. This was all just a big show. An act. Alphys has been playing you for a fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it. So she decided to insert herself into your story. She activated puzzles. She disabled elevators. She enlisted me to torment you. Also, she could save you from dangers that don't exist. Yeah, I was looking back on some of the dialogue. In my old live streams, and it turns out, yeah, she was acting quite a bit suspicious about all of this, so I kind of believe Metaton here. 
Also, you would think she is the greatest person. That she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alphys is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You'll regard her so highly, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? And what is a good show without a plot twist? Hey, what's going on? The door just locked itself. Sorry, folks. The old program's been cancelled. But we've got a finale that will drive you wild. Real drama. Real action. Real budget. On our new show. Attack of the Killer Robot. This is probably what should do if things continue in this manner. Yes, I was the one that rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short-sighted plan. You know what would be a hundred times better? Getting you myself. Yeah, I needed to redo this because I don't remember it. That worthless pea shooter won't work on me, darling. Don't you understand what acting is? Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Ascor will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. But if I get your stole, soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. Aha! Then using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. Oops. Uh, I can't see what's going on in there, but... Don't give up, okay? There's one last way to beat Meditin. It's, um... It's a work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how Meditin is always facing forward? That's because there's a switch on his backside. So if you can turn him around, um... I've already done all this. Press the switch, he'll be... Vulnerable. Oh, gotta go. You tell him there's a mirror behind him. A mirror? Right, I have to look perfect for our grand finale. I didn't see it. Where is it? Did you just flip my switch? Oh, yes. Here we go again. If you flipped my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So, as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments absolutely beautiful. I've been told I need to boast even though it's going to technically make it harder. You say you're not going to get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase during Meditan's turn. Glam burger. You ate the glam burger. The audience loves the brand. Your HP was maxed out. Nope. The idol everyone craves. Oh 
smells like metaton. Smells like a ton of metal. Smile for the camera. Hit the thing. Ooh. Turn and scoff at the audience, they're rooting for your destruction. Ah! There's so much stuff I need to keep track of! Woo! Oh, come on, get out of here, you. Just hold still. Can you keep up the pace? Lights, camera, bombs! Whew. Oh god! Whew. Wait, what hit me? Happy break time! Commercial break. We've grown so distant, darling. How about another hot and hot? Oh my gosh. I'm watching the junk more than I am where his heart is. He's lost his arms. The arms fallen off. Uh, arms? Who needs arms with legs like these? I'm still going to win. What the? Oh my gosh. Right. Left. Show must go on! Take it. Enough of this. Do you really want humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? Whew. How inspiring. Well, darling, it's either me or you. But I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Can I spare you now? You're like kind of just broken. Then, are you the star? Can you really protect humanity?
Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm just concentrating. I'm done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the ratings. This is the most views I've ever had. We've reached the viewer call-in milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. I did terrible. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our last show? Oh, hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but is this Napster book? Seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life, vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait, wait. Hey, they already hung up. I'll take another caller. Meditan, you showed made us so happy. Meditan, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Meditan, there's a Meditan shaped hole in my Meditan shaped heart. Ah, uh, I. I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters. They only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best, anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is... inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and... Well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. I, I managed to open the lock. Are you two? Oh my god. Meditan. Meditan, are you? Thank god, it's just the batteries. Meditan, if you were gone, I would've... I would've... I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? I I just need a moment. It's out of batteries. Oh no, I can't go back. Hopefully there's a save point. Sorry about that. Let's keep going. So you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be... You must be... 
Pretty excited about that, all that, huh? Oh no, my HP is 2020. You'll finally. You'll finally get to go home. Wait. I mean, um, I. I was just going to, um, say goodbye and. I can't take this anymore. I, I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul. And a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. I'm sure it'll be fine. Wow, this is a long elevator. There's the save point. Is that an elevator down? Please let that be an elevator down. I'm gonna- the elevator is in use. Shoot. Is this the whole freaking city or what? No, I can't go down. I want to be able to go back. This is oddly calming. This is... The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden! If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. This is... the house at the beginning. It's a golden flower. Seems like gardening tools. Photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Coals are still warm. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the humans called out for help. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. The stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. Trash can, it's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. It's a note. Howdy, help yourself to anything you want. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. It's full of unopened containers of snails. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Lock it inside the box. Will you take it? Heart lock, armor defense 15. It says best friends forever. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? You got the worn dagger. Worn dagger, weapon attack 15. Perfect for cutting plants and vines. 
might as well equip these. toys. There's two beds in this one. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. It's a drawing of a golden flower. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. It's a twin-sized bed. Room under renovations. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. It's as Gore's journal. All the current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a king size bed. It's a brew room. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a closed door. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Nuzzle Champs 98. Macaroni Art of the Flower for King Dad. Despite everything, it's still you. Oops. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. You unlock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 2010 something. A date is circled on it. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, The human died. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed them. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But, Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. 
The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Oh gosh, I don't know which one's the right choice. The last corridor. I'm assuming if I can maybe go back down, please? Can I go back, please? Because I seriously need help. Oh, please let me heal. I need to heal desperately. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. You guys say anything different? Yeah, I'm not gonna be home, blah blah blah. To the right. It's either L1 or R1. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. You have anything new to say to me? Or have you locked yourself away? There's no response. Snowden. The water is very wet today. Just I guess it's not frozen then. We back. Use the box, yes. Ballet shoes. Hope and attack seven. These shoes make you feel. Oh, that's what I had equipped previously. Give me like. All of your cinnamon buns. <laughs> yes, I will use this to coast the whole game. Welcome to Snowden Inn, Premier Hotel. I actually did go here one time off screen. You look like you had a great sleep. 
which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. But it does give us 30 HP out of 20, which is what I wanted. Let's see how Undyne and uh, Papyrus are doing. Hey, punk, what's up? How do you stand the cold? I have no skin. Okay, there's nothing new with you two. I thought there was like one more thing we could do with these guys, but I guess not. Oh my gosh, I'm supposedly right outside. <laughs> That's fantastic! I'm gonna get my butt whooped again. Don't snoop behind people's houses, you might be mistaken for a trash can. Does that happen to you, buddy? Come again sometime. R3. Elevator is in use. Okay, I can't use that one yet. And I know I could technically buy like lamb burgers and stuff, but it's more expensive and since I'm lower leveled it doesn't really make a difference anyways. At least I don't think it does. If it's gonna heal me to full HP, whether it costs 25 gold or 100 gold, might as well go with 25. Eat some cinnamon bunnies. The elevator goes up, doesn't it? There we go. Freaking Zelda windows. Hey Sans, what's up? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned, which is zero. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough experience, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, 
the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more you easily and the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Oh boy. Time to save again, because I'm a wuss. Throne room. Oh, there's another one. These ones don't give me anything like seeing such and such fills you with determination. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Ren. It's empty. How do I get around you? I guess I don't? Maybe there's another way. No, this opened up. I guess we're close enough to the edge to hear birds. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I... Well, I guess he wasn't expecting us. Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Why has it gotta be like this, though? Like, we literally can't just hold hands and go through the barrier? How tense. Just think of it like... Uh, 
a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. The end. This is the barrier. This is what keeps all of us trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business... Please do what you must. I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human? It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh. Asgore 80, Defense 80. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Breathing gets funny for a moment. You firmly tell Asgore to stop. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Indeed. Popsicle. I didn't buy any popsicles. Why are they called popsicles in this fight when they're called unicycles and everything else? Seems talking won't do any more good. But he destroyed the mercy button! Flash, what he's gonna do. Do I have to fight him? I don't wanna. Because <laughs> it says it won't do any more good. Legitimately don't know what to do. <sighs> I've already been judged for how much hurt I've done. I know this game saves everything. Granted, I also know how to delete the system 32 file, but... 
I'd have to do everything over again. To the Google! <laughs> because reasons! You must fight King Asgore. Make sure you're loaded with healing items and your strongest weapon in order. Oh boy, I guess we gotta do it. I'm sorry, Asgore. And of course, I've already gone through so many of my items. Hold still. Fast enough. Guess I'm just gonna have to get good. Oh boy. Is this the fight I'm supposed to use the pie? What's the pie do? Oh shoot, it's getting faster, getting faster. I'm just gonna sort of... One, two, three, four. gonna have any left over if there's more after this, which I know there probably is. I'm just have to get <laughs> I've learned some of the patterns and I know I can make this go by a little bit faster next time, but still got me even though I So that is how it is. I 
remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul. Leave this cursed place. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? I haven't really been suffering, dude. I've been having fun. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. You little shit. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing! In this world, it's kill or be killed. There goes the game. <laughs> oh. Oh, you think I didn't know that was there? You think I didn't prepare for that? You thought you were going to get my monitor? <laughs> you know, if the game's going to troll me, I'm allowed to troll back. One day, they all disappeared without a trace. It's all broken. Oh, even the file name's going crazy. Flowey. Max level. Level one, the end. Ooh, dang. File erased. I'm stuck here till I get this right and get good. Howdy! It's me. Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy. I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul aside me again. I can feel them wriggling. You. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then... With my newfound powers, monsters, humans, 
everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend, Flowey, has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Here it comes, I have seen this. And I'm probably gonna have to edit out so many failures. Oh, I guess I don't have items for this, but here we go. going well. Oh, this is madness. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to get good. Poof. Dead. This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. Poof! There it goes. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. I wonder what this does. Oh! He. <laughs> Did you really think I was gonna be satisfied? Killing you only one time? At least it throws us right back in here. But I'm gonna have to do so much editing later. Holy moly. Everywhere is a bad spot to be. Oh, God. You called for help. Well, at least this. to learn where the heck the safe spots are. something that said file saved? File loaded. Where am I? Oh, 
Also known as Toby Fox's profile pic up there. On Twitter. Oh, I can't go about that. Oh god, just turn already. Pick him up, pick him up. Whenever it says file loaded, it teleports me. Shoot them at me, shoot them at me, shoot them at me, shoot them at me! Oh god. Thank goodness. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. doing so hot either. Oh 
my god. <laughs> Did I do it? No, no! This can't be happening! You! Rick. You idiot. Oh god. Well. think you could defeat me I am the god of this world and you you're hopeless hopeless and alone Dolly that's right your worthless friends can't save you now call for help I dare you Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. You call for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. How'd you? Well, I'll just. Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? I don't think they like being controlled. You can't do that. You're supposed to obey me. Stop, stop it. Dead, but not gone. Dang. Even you, buddy. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Undertale by Toby Fox. Is this the neutral ending? gonna have to assume this is the neutral ending. Ring ring. Hey yeah. Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. 
so it's been a while. The queen returned, and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, I just watch over fl I just water flowers. So that's every so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Elphis with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion-inducing. But I think Elphis likes having her around. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you up to, punk? Ugh. Please don't noogie the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't nugget the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Alphys' lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of the stump once and for all. Oh, yeah. And I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey. I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he... Ugh, darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne. Snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey. Wherever you are. I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are. You have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel! Toriel, do you wanna... <laughs> she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to quit this short, but be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now! See ya, punk. So, now what? What's up, you? Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. 
That's why I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness? See you soon. So. That was the neutral ending. I got it on the second try. Oh, stay determined kiddos. Ooh. Where does it pop me out? Here, it leaves me here. So, this means I should be able to go back. Because I technically haven't killed anybody yet. Uh, this way. Although, since I started streaming later than usual, I might uh, go to Snowden and then go see Dr. Elphis to see if I can stock up on healing items and such. And then maybe do the full pacifist completion in another part. Since I guess Flowey technically dropped me off in the past. Before I took out Asgore. Which I didn't want to do. He was goat dad. He was a great goat dad. Like, I thought he was gonna be meaner than that, but no. I just want to give the big fluffy a hug. Hello? Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See you, punk. Oh, it drags me back there. Anyway. Oh, boy. This way. L1. Whew, I'm sort of speechless now, but that's because of all the madness. Snowden, please. You can play with the dog. Fetch. Asking for a friend. Fetch. Catch. Go for a walk. Belly rub. I know it's not really a game, but to a dog it's enjoyed all the same. Come again sometime. Oh, I actually do have a ton of health. That's nice. And a pie. Which I guess I didn't need to use, so maybe that's for later. So I'm gonna save here. And then next time, uh, when I boot up, I know I haven't been streaming very long, but it's late. Next time when I boot up, I am gonna complete the pacifist run. Hopefully. So I'm gonna go talk to Undyne, do whatever she wants, go see Dr. Alphys, and, uh, Try to get the true, true ending. So I know it was short, but thank you for anyone who has joined, and I hope to see you all in future streams. 